All right. In lesson number three, we talked about four chords, G major, C add nine, D sustain four, and D major. In this lesson, we'll look at a way to combine them to make something that'll sound like a song. And in fact, it's already been in hundreds of songs. So it'll probably sound familiar. But the first thing that we'll do is play the G, the C add nine, the D sustain four, and the D major in rhythm. So just like this. And then we'll add more strums. So we'll strum each chord two times and we'll get this. So let's try that. We'll put that all together and then we'll do another part of this little song. Let's pretend that that is the verse part, and so let's make up a chorus. So for the chorus, we'll go, start with a G, then to a D, then to a C add nine with no pinky, and then back to the D. So again, that was a G, a D chord, C add nine, and the D chord again. So let's try that. Okay, so we've got two sections to this little song, this exercise that we're doing with these chords, and let's try putting them together. If you'd like to make that a little more interesting and you feel comfortable strumming, then we could add all sorts of strum patterns. So we could add some Hope you had fun. That concludes lesson number four.